What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. So here's a new one that was published on September 26th. A link to the article will be in the description for you. It's titled, and it's from The Verge, Uber will now let you know when you're being a total jerk to your driver. Behavior modification therapy via a company that has its share of bad habits. Uber is announcing a few notable changes today, starting with a new feature that allows drivers to offer an additional layer of feedback to unruly riders. Working off the assumption that no one likes IRL confrontation, drivers can now choose from a pre-selected list of reasons to explain why they rated a passenger as less than five stars. So the next time you take too long getting in the car or you have a loud phone conversation in the back seat, you'll be hearing about it from your Uber driver. The update will ask drivers what went wrong if they select a four star rating or less. They can choose from a list of reasons, wait time, patience, number of riders, attitude, wanted new route or other. If a passenger gets the same tag twice within 30 days, a notification will appear when they open the Uber app to let them know that their behavior is affecting their rating. According to Uber, drivers often complain that poor rider behavior can be a major cause of stress, especially during Uber pool trips. Drivers have always been able to rate riders after the trip, but now they will be able to leave specific feedback that Uber can surface to riders so they can improve their rating. Whether riders take the criticism to heart or dismiss it as patronizing, though, remains to be seen. Now, what I think would be awesome is if they if they added a little something extra to what they're trying to do. I do appreciate what they're trying to do, but I think you could go a little bit further. And what I mean by that, let me elaborate here, is, okay, why would a passenger care? Unless this is going to affect their ability to get a ride, they're not going to care. So maybe what we should do is say, hey, you know, Two times in 30 days, here's a warning. Three times in 30 days, now it's getting serious. Four times in 30 days, you're in a timeout for, say, three days or five days. And maybe that would really help modify the behavior, but unfortunately, that would cut into Uber's pocketbook, and it could also force these passengers that would usually use Uber to move over to Lyft, and that wouldn't be good for Uber either. So I definitely see the dilemma there. But personally, I don't see how this behavior modification is going to work um, because typically people do not respond unless there is a punishment. You know, they ha there has to be something that happens to a person. They go, whoa, okay, I don't want to do that again. Otherwise, you know, just flagging something, showing something, it says, hey, your driver didn't like you. They're going to be like, well, guess what? I don't care anyway. Um, I hope that it works. I hope that we can see a difference with uh, what they're trying to do here. It's definitely a step in the right direction. I just think it needs to, uh, I think they need to go a little bit further with it and really do something that's going to catch the passenger's attention and help them really change their behavior and show a little more respect for their drivers. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, stay safe out there, and Uber on.